Circle City Night. Hopefully, if the rain stays away, um, just finishing up engine maintenance. Tyler was a legend last night. He did all the suspension and all that for me. Um, team effort though. So, just finished running up the valves. Um, different valve chain to what I've done at home, but pretty, pretty crazy setup. It's a zero, zero lash feel. So, just gonna make sure they twist. The push rods twist, and pretty much just try to get a small feeler under there just to have a bit of clearance, just so. It's better to be loose and tight and yeah pretty easy deal yeah weather's looking pretty crap so might be staying home tonight but who knows we've got three races at least this weekend if we can fit it in circle city don't know if she's gonna happen there's a big storm rolling in everyone's rolling their cars back in but yeah some set cars here it's there. we'll get signed in and see what we got to do just wait for it to rain haul it off but i'll get you updated here with Aussie driver Todd Hobson, who is making his USAC national debut here tonight. And Todd, the motto for you the last few year, years out in Australia has been all dirt tracks lead to Indiana. Well, you're here. Is it true? Do all dirt tracks lead to Indiana? Oh, they sure do. This is the uh, pinnacle, the goal for me, especially running against all these USAC guys. So can't thank Tyler Sturgeon and all the partners on this deal for making it happen. You've gotten to run a few races with this team before coming out and playing with the big boys here at Circle City. So what have you learned in those races, not only about the team, but how the dirt and the tracks are in Indiana? Uh, the dirts, uh, other than Bloomington, they're a lot uh, more sandy and like topsoil. Uh, that's been a bit different for me, but every track builds a curb. That's been the coolest thing for me. I haven't ran a curb in like three years. So the tracks have been way sort of better than what I'm used to, but yeah, they really um, work out good. Now there's a lot of antics going on behind the camera with Thomas Meserol. So first off, how either enjoyable or frustrating is it to be teammates with Timez? Because I don't know if you have a lot of characters like him down under. Oh, there's a couple, but Thomas has been helping me, like, without me even asking, like, a whole Circle City race, so he's been an awesome help, awesome character, and, yeah, anything I want, he's there. Well, you're getting your full American introduction with Timez, just let me say that ahead of time. Todd Hobson making his USAC national debut here at Circle City. All right, going out for whole laps now, engine heat, no slashes here, no, 24 the best, so let's see how we go and get engine heat and all laps underway. Slime off the top of the racing surface see what we got so far down into the 13 second bracket on a very greasy racetrack buddy Kofoy into that number one spot a 13 499 chase stock in second quick robert blue into the number three spot but we'll see these uh, times continue to drop here on the quarter mile cal shipley will notch himself into that top spot and now we have some precipitation falling from the skies It's a bit wet, isn't it? It's a bit wet. A bit wet. It's Indiana, though. If yeah. you wait a minute, the weather will change. Yeah, that's it. It's a bit of water about, mate. Fortunately, rained out tonight. Uh, got hot laps in, but that was pretty much it. It was wet and mucky. I was pretty much pushing the whole way because I don't know how to drive these things on the slime. So uh, we'll get this washed up, have another crack tomorrow for Circle City. Uh, Dark two, Thursday night. See you at the car wash. Get it tubbed up. Just got back from the rain out Circle City. I said we're going to check in what Travis is up to. And yeah, he's had a bit of motor deal on Travis, what's to go? Here's Travis Berry. He's my teammate. He's the number one driver here. So he does everything. All his shops pretty much. Or oh, I don't know if he used to, but I think he's now he's building his own motors and fixing, not building. Fixing, not building. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, the I think it's the number seven push rods got flicked out with the, uh, if you can see in there, the welded cracked cracked the head and he's welded it up he's a machine shop guy by trade machinist programmer programmer that's it yeah. yeah um so yeah just getting big job getting all the head on getting the valve train all back together yeah. head came clear off the motor and yeah pretty much a bare head bare there head we go. And yeah had, uh, danny drynan yep welded up for me and machined it back down and retapped a new hole deeper deeper holes yep so forward. we don't have that happen again clean everything up and Holding it all back together now. That's it, that's it. Does it all, drives it as well. When are we racing? Soon. 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 Hopefully. I don't, I don't know, soon. <laughs> yeah. I racing guys will know what that means. Alrighty. And also we got another frame coming in. <laughs> the next day. Alrighty, uh, now it's Thursday. We got rained out again at Circle City, so I missed out on running USAC today. Uh, we just decided just to 
scrap washing with Tyler made a bit of a sale so we decided not to wash on yesterday and just gonna wash up today via the car wash. Right, so we got a moderately dirty four wheeler. I mean, Thomas's car is moderately dirty and then mine's pretty freaking dirty. It's not too bad though. Just because I actually did hot laps. Um, so yeah I've been scraping a lot of shit off and just give her a quick tub and back in she goes. Alrighty quick tub. I got my uh, shoes on. I don't wash shoes or cars with shoes on. That's a joke. Um, yeah, so Thomas's car was nice and easy. Mine was obviously a little trickier, but we got there. I'm gonna put mine in first, as I don't think Thomas is running for us this weekend, the rest of the weekend. So we need just throw mine in first, then Travis will go and climb it. So we called around with Travis again. Uh, he's the number one driver, I call him. He's sort of half this team, so. Looking forward to run with him. I think we're going to run Saturday at Pat Putnamville. The next day. Just heading out to RMS and then we'll have a sort of carb day. And just wanted to show a bit of the options we had here. Alrighty, so we got our hot dogs here, the rollers, mate. Salmonella on a roller. I want to try these though, they look alright. But yeah. We got your fajita steak and cheese tacos. And the sodas and stuff. That's not for me though. I'm getting those. I mean, no energies. Alrighty, at the world famous Indianapolis Motor Speedway, here's some of the tailgating here. Campers up on the hill. Uh, we're just gonna look at carb day. It's gonna be a piss down rain. I'm already like $20 out of pocket just for parking in a random spot close to the speedway. It's just some guy's lot, but I guess it's part of May, I guess. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, get a ticket, get in, and see what it's all about. There she is, I miss. I think this is turn one. Yes, that's turn one because there's a pagoda. Pagoda is like just a tower where you, the scoring's done. I'm just keen to just see the atmosphere. It's probably worth the money for me, honestly. I don't even care if it gets rained out. I just want to see the atmosphere of IMS during May. So it might not be Sunday as we're racing at Kokomo, but it's better than nothing. Alrighty, I went to the pit office to try to get a pit pass, but yeah, it's like $180, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> we'll just go for a wander. I got this off a of scalper. But yeah, I got the real pop pack tickets, so I think I'm only allowed really on the infield, so I'm gonna try and make my way over there. Um, unless I don't really care where you sit on carb day, I'll uh, have to try to figure that out. Um, honestly, just happy to be here, mate. Being introduced to a sustainable society through the automation with the global industry expertise. The organization is accelerating growth and improving customer experience through a range of consulting. I go for a walk to the infield and have a look what's going on down there. where the drivers are all sort of camped out. I think there's a bit of tailgating over here. Oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, come on through. I'm in the own world. Here's the road course. We're going in the golf course. There's a golf course in the middle of this thing. Half a golf course, the other half's on the other side. So that just gives you a bit of scope how big this joint is. I'm just going to try and make my way over to look at the dirt track here. So there's a pagoda again for reference. Uh, I made my way to turn three. This is where the concerts happen. I think I accidentally bought a ticket for it, so I might check it out. <laughs> We're in the tailgating section here. Oh, in the snake pit, Nelly. Got myself a donut. <laughs> Off to a good start. I then found the dirt track. Around right the middle of the track.
great day here at the uh, Indy Motor Speedway. What a cool event. Shut it, I can't come for a look Sunday, but I'm not the best around big crowds anyway. This is probably about a limit for me. It's an overall cool atmosphere, and anyone who wants to come out, I recommend it. And turn three is a wild freaking place. Wow. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're off to IRP now, uh, 20 minute drive of the road and another speedway with USAC Silver Crown and Midgets. Video while driving, but I'm looking forward. This is the car park. I can't imagine what it is on race day. This is all like a paid thing. They just charge cash to park at their houses. I really hope the weather gets better. Because <laughs> it's still wet, but it's just horrible showers. I uh, just got to get IRP. I'm a little worried with the weather. I'm just going to chill here for a little bit. Um, a bit sketch uh, with rain lurking around the area in Indiana. You don't know how much it's going to rain at what time. So, keen to get in, but we're just going to wait it out just for a little bit to save me some money. And look at this wetness. We have some tracks in too. Oh, track's pretty wet. Cool joint though. I got the strong high racing. Midgets all silver crown cars all covered up. They got the dryers out there. Hopefully they're not on the track too long. Let's go out for a look on the middle. Let's go look at these cars. <laughs> Usually he loves the camera on TV. Uh, yeah, he's Thomas's uh, crew guy that comes along and helps and works at CSI and all that. He loves me on the camera. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're gonna watch them with the Silver Crown and we've got some midget action as well. The third down on the inside is going to leap out to the early race lead and hang on to it. The old one bobbing and weaving for Cody Swanson. He tells you exactly what you need and no fluff, and that's all you can expect as a driver. Tulips down the inside, the number one car side by side with Santos. Santos again holds him off out of turn number four. Soon to come to a close. He's down in turn number one and two we go, and Santos had him covered on the entrance down here. We got him right nose to tail out of turn number two and down the back straight away. Here comes C.J. Leary down the inside for the number three spot. Deep down into the corner, Swanson not able to challenge on the 22. White flag comes out up front. Down into turn number one and two they go. Swanson's got to take a shot at him. Here he comes, that run to the outside. Swanson's a-coming. A little bit of a deep there, look tight, look low. Where's he gonna go this time? Down into the corner, he's gonna try to rain that momentum to the outside of Bobby Santos. Santos leaves the lane up high. Not gonna happen for him. Bobby Santos gonna win the card. 